Hello everybody again. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to apologize for my attire. I don't even have makeup on. I have BB cream on, blush, and some baby lips and mascara. Obviously, I did my eyebrows. I guess that is having makeup on, but not as much as I wanted to put on. Um, I did have a look that I wanted to do for this next video, but um, I just don't have time today. I have a lot of errands that I need to run. Uh, today is my day off. And then I'm going to be working for the next couple of days. And I just have so much stuff planned out for the rest of the week already. Um, so I just wanted to do the second part of um, my October favorites. This part will be my collective haul of a couple of the things that have um, came up within the last month and a half to two months. Um, it's a mess everywhere in my room. My vanity drawer, the top drawer, um, broke. And then the little compartment, the little um, piece of wood or whatever that's holding it up just broke right now. So I don't even know what I'm going to do. I have my makeup everywhere and it's like it's bugging me right now. I'm not even going to show you what it looks like. It's just horrible. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Um, I did get a lot of palettes. Um, that's pretty much what this collective haul is going to be about is just my palettes. I've gotten a couple of, of little things here and there, but my uh, my main focus was right now palettes, um, blush palettes and um, obviously eye palettes. Um, so let's see. I'm probably the last one on earth to um, purchase these two babies right here. The Naked and the Naked too. I don't know why I have not purchased them. I got this one about uh, two months ago, and then I got this one. I redeemed my uh, my points at Sephora, and uh, I got it for two bucks because I I was able to get fifty dollars off. So if you guys don't know what the what the palettes look like, which I'm pretty sure everybody in this world does, I will show you. Um, this is the first one, the Naked um, Urban Decay. It's like velvety type of packaging. And this one comes with um, the Urban Decay Primer Potion and also comes with a brush that you see that I've already, um, I really do like the brushes that they come with, so I've been using them. Um, so that's the that's the colors that the Naked comes with. More neutral colors, I think. I mean, you have these two, like the little, the silvery, sorry, I got a little bit black, the silvery color that is uh, gunmetal. And then um, there's actually a lot of shimmers in here. There's probably about two, it looks like, only two matte um, colors, which I really do like matte, but um, I, I, like, I like the shimmery too. I like the colors that they chose to have shimmer in them. Um, my favorite right now would be Buck and Half Baked, which are these two right here. I just love the color payoff, as Urban Decay always has good color payoff. And the swatches on those, if you're able to see them, are these right there. So they are just beautiful. I love those. And then from the Naked 2, um, this one came with the lip gloss and also a brush. And here's what you have right there. The only repeat that is in this it would be um, Half Baked, which I am totally stoked about because I like Half Baked. This one comes with three matte shades and the rest shimmers. So the Naked and the Naked 2 don't have that much matte shades. So if matte is what you are into and not shimmer whatsoever, um, the Naked and the Naked 2 would not be your cup of tea. So, um, I mean, you guys are more than welcome to swatch them, obviously. But um, these do have a lot of shimmer. No fall off. No, they're not chalky to me or anything. But they do have a ton of shimmer. And then I also got the Naked Basics, which is, I believe, seven or eight shades. Okay, I'm wrong. Six shades. Um, they are all matte. Venus, which is the first one right here, it does have a little bit of a satin finish. It's not complete matte, and it does have a little bit of shimmer in it. So these are the matte um, shades. I've really been using this um, quite a bit when I don't really want to have much makeup on. I've been using this and my Sonia Kashuk um, Eye on Neutral Palette, I believe it's called. I don't even have it right here because I don't have my drawer. So I believe it's the Eye on Neutral. That's $20. It comes with a lot of shades. I believe it comes with 12 
This comes with um, six, and this is $27. So for seven more bucks, you get obviously the high end brick. $20 for a um, drugstore palette to me is a lot, but I mean, I got it. I've been wanting it for a while. So um, let's see the next palette that I got is my first Bare Minerals purchase ever. I've uh, I've actually never even tried a Bare Minerals um, eyeshadow. I've never, I've swatched them, but I've never purchased one or even used them. And I didn't even swatch this one. I just saw the gold and it attracted me. And then I saw the names. Um, there's Boss Lady, Money Maker, Schmooze, Boardroom, Exec, Payday, Magnet, and Get Ahead. And this is the Power Neutrals. So those are the names that I just read off of uh, for you right now. And then um, the packaging. And then, voila. I don't want to blind you. There you go. And then, here is what the actual palette looks like. It has your olive shades. It has, um, like, champagne-y shades that you can see right here. My light isn't too bright. Champagne shades. Um, it has some matte brown shades. I mean, I just like it. I can uh, show you guys some swatches really quick. And so these are the top four right here. So as you can see, they're all neutral colors, the whole power of a neutral. Um, these are very blendable shades. I don't, I've, I'm in the process of still, still learning how to blend correctly, blend right, and the right amount of blending. So these, for me, make it extremely easy. So if you're new at, at starting out uh, new makeup looks, or like I said, blending, Bare Minerals are so smooth, so blendable. I mean, they are just amazing. Um, this this quad right here was about, I believe, $40. And, um, I mean, it's amazing. It's well worth it. You get eight shades. They are tiny, but, I mean, all Bare Minerals shades, uh, all Bare Minerals eyeshadows, from what I've no noticed, they are all the exact same size. So, um power of neutrals it's a new palette that came out i got it at ulta for um like i said forty dollars um it is awesome you can swatch it um at sephora i didn't see a display at ulta to where i can actually swatch it um, but i just picked it up because of the packaging and i'm glad i did i've used this about uh two to three times already i'm really really liking it you can do so much looks especially with the olive the champagne the matte browns and everything it just looks amazing especially for fall it's the perfect fall um neutral palette that i have right now um another one that i have which is the probably one of the ones that i'm most excited about i got the laura mercier artist palette for the eyes this is her second palette that she's came out with um, the first one, I really didn't know too much about her products, um, palettes in general. So, um, my friend told me about it, showed me some swatches. She purchased it. I saw her swatches and I just fell in love. I felt like I could do so much with it, with the purples, with the neutrals, with the mattes, everything that is in here. So, um, the, the packaging is, um, it's a textured, it's like bubbly kind of textured. It's like a leather type of, of um, packaging. It's brown. It has a Laura Mercier little sticker that you could just take off though on the back. And inside you have your mirror and it has a Laura Mercier name on that. And then here is the palette. The palette is just beautiful. I love everything about this palette. There is nothing that I do not like. My favorite one is Indian Ink, and that's this one right here. And I also like uh, African Violet, which is this. They are just amazing. Very pigmented, very smooth. I mean, they are just amazing. Those are the two. That's uh, that's um, Indian Ink and African Violet. Those are my two favorite ones right now. Um, they're just amazing. I can't say enough good things about this palette. Now I'm like 
sh like shooting myself in the head because I didn't even get the first palette, which um, I did see like a comparison with them at, on a on a review on it, and that palette looks good too. But the second palette I think is more my style. Um, so I really, 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 really like this. Um, I took advantage of the Employee Appreciation VIB Week um, at Sephora. And um, there is going to be another one coming up, I believe, November 7th through November 13th. And you guys can take advantage of the VIB 20% off. Now that's in-store and online. The employee appreciation was only um, online. So you guys can go to the, your local Sephora, take advantage of that 20% off, swatch it, see, fall in love, because you're not going to not fall in love, and pick that up. So I will be purchasing a couple of things with that 20% off um week that they're having and I will be posting a little mini haul I'm not I'm not planning on um, doing too much shopping with that there's a um, couple of things that I wanted to pick up but I already picked them up and I didn't even care about saving money because I seen them at the store and I just had to get it which leads me to my last um, purchase for the collective haul which is NARS I got the Lars uh, Guy Borden I believe that's how you say his name. And this is the um, One Night Stand palette. So here it is right here. Typical NARS packaging. It has a red little um, little mark right here with a uh, guy's name on it. And then you open up the uh, palette. You have your mirror. You have your NARS protective uh, little film right here, like always. And then you have your palette, which is... Hmm, how could I do this like this? You have a highlight, you have a bronzer, and you have four blushes. Um, the highlight, I'm not too sure what the name is, and it sucks because on the palette, it doesn't have the names. It just says one night stand, and then it has like blush and, and whatever, the, the weight and everything, which I really don't care about. I want to know the names. And I, I keep forgetting the names, so I don't even want to butcher the names and tell you that a blush is something else and it's not. Um, the only ones that I know are um, Orgasm Deep Throat and then the bronzer is Laguna. It's not the Casino bronzer. It is a Laguna, which I really, really like Laguna. And I can show you a little swatch of that. That is not Laguna because I have so much shimmer on my finger. There's Laguna. It's just like a perfect brown. You can't really see it in the lighting. But um, for my skin tone, um, I feel like it's like a perfect contouring um, bronzer. I don't use it to bronze up my whole face. I just, I just been using it to contour um, with. I'm really, really loving this palette. Um, I was indecisive at first because from pictures it looked like they were pretty much all brown, brown undertone blushes. But I seen it at the store. Not only that, I like I figured, okay, I'm broke, sixty five dollars for a blush palette. I can't do it. And then I just I was think I was making up excuses to not get the palette because I was like, I don't have any money to get it. Why am I even gonna get it? So, but I went in and I saw it and I just fell in love with it. Um, just the packaging alone. I love NARS in general, so I missed out. I wasn't into makeup um, when the other palette or palettes have came out. I'm not sure. I don't even know how many palettes have um, they've came up with. But I just, I had to get it. I felt like I was going to beat myself up if I didn't. So, One Night Stand palette. I love, I love, love, love this palette. Another um, blush that I was just excited about, more excited than the um, palette alone, is now I can't say this cor Corbatant Cor. I don't know. I don't know French, and I'm not going to try to learn French. So that's the spelling of it. Um, it's a single blush, and it is amazing. I used it the other day, obviously with the dual fiber brush, because as you can tell, that is very pigmented and very, like they describe it, magenta. Um, I can show you a blended out um little swatch right there so that's what it looks like obviously it looks different on your cheeks um i like you know uh as everyone knows nars blushes stay on all day have no um 
fading whatsoever or anything like that. I worked to work, stood there for like eight hours, a little bit longer than eight hours. And I mean, this stood on my face all day. I love, 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 love this blush. Um, this again is from the new collection from Guy and it is available at Sephora still. Um, just don't know the quantities because everybody is talking about the collection and I'm sure everybody wants to get it. Um, another, um, my first NARS purchase ever for, for lipstick um, is also from the new collection. This is called Goodbye Emmanuel. I used it um, the same day that I used the blush and it stood on me all day. And like I said, I was at work for a little bit more than eight hours. I didn't have to reply. I ate hot Cheetos. I like, I acted like I didn't have lipstick on just to see the wear of the lipsticks to see if it is something that I do want to look into, see some more swatches of lipsticks and, and everything like that, which I love. I love the formula. I love the stain power. It's not drying. Um, I don't have, to, I, I have a lot of, I have problems with, I have to like scrape the inside of my mouth because my lip gloss, lipstick, um, chapstick, everything gets dry. So I'm constantly having to do that and with this I didn't even do it it was not drying on my lips whatsoever so uh, once again it's called goodbye Emmanuel and it's from the uh, new collection from guy pick that up at your local Sephora and um, it's amazing I love this one it's just like a perfect pink I just love it, it goes perfect with the blush and then um, any blush in the palette I used it with a single blush um, so that's all that I got from my collective haul. I did want to show you guys this little guy. Oh my gosh, I love her. It's him. Uh, it's a little piggy bank, but I don't use it as a piggy bank because um, the piggy bank that I have, I have it for my kids and I have it somewhere else because if I have a piggy bank, I, I can't even go a day without having with having money because I want to spend it. So I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put money in here. But it's just it's so cute. I have it on my vanity. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I used the 40% off discount, so I only got it for like three bucks. But I love the glitter, and I, I, it just reminds me of like a Mac lipstick. So I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. So Hobby Lobby, if you guys wanted to get one, there's like heels. There's a little thing of just red lips, red sparkly lips. Really cute, really cute accessories to just put on a vanity in your bathroom wherever it is that you wanted to put it on um so that's all that i got um for my collective haul thank you guys for watching the second part of my october favorites if you guys did not watch that video go ahead and check it out um it's my last upload from this one so if that made any sense just go check it out it's called october favorites 2013 all right thank you guys for watching Bye bye